Hey everybody, it's Mental from Everyone Racers. With everything we've got going on, I'm traveling, Chris and Chris, you're traveling, Jeff is still busy at work, we weren't gonna record an episode, but then I remembered I had something. Way back in 2018, episode 26, we answered questions from a listener. We didn't realize at the time that that listener, Bill Fisher, his wife, his friend Alan, his in-laws, his kids, they would all be such a huge part of our lives and be such a great friend. In the fall, Chris and Chrissy got married. It was a great wedding and we elected not to record a show. But our new friends, Bill, Vicki, and Dan, well, they recorded one for us. And ultimately they would go on to have their own podcast, Garage Heroes in Training. I've had this file for five years, never listened to it. So. Without any further ado, here is the Garage Heroes in Training Pirate Takeover of Everyone Racers. Welcome to Everyone Racers, There's a show designed for the world of low dollar racing and oddball car culture. It doesn't matter what kind of Linda Champ or Lucky Track Dog League you run. SCCA or NASA, we won't discriminate. As long as you drive it hard and built it yourself. Join us each week for tech discussions, tips, tricks, as well as news and notes from the world of amateur and garage racing. And whether it's on the spot, hella sweet, but we're lucky enough, and Chrissy, Chrissy, and Chrissy, and I give you just the tip. We're sure you'll giggle a little and learn even less. Everyone report to the paddock. Yo, came back, and we're having a party today, and she called me Dan. I was like, yes. (laughs) And I've got, because I got two more uh, double Ds. I got Diana Diamond. Whoa, we're in. Here we go. We're in. We're in. Hold, hold on. Hold on. I think we might have it this time. It's 24. I, th- I think we're in. I think we're in. Very nice. Go. Welcome to Everyone Racers, a podcast designed for the world of low dollar racing and oddball car cultural. Whatever kind of Le Chump or track dog you run, SCCA or NASA, we don't discriminate. We even think you drift oh hell flush guys are pretty all right as long as you built it yourself and drive it hard. Join us each week for tech discussions, tips, tricks, news and notes from the world of low buck racing. And if you can handle it, Chrissy will give you just the tip. Hey, everyone report to the paddock. Yeah, this, this is Dan Danvers. This is Vicky. <laughs> and, and apparently this is Bill. And that's everybody's picked up by now. We're definitely not everyone racers. But we're going to give it a go. We are the Garage Heroes in, tra- in Training Racing Team, and we're conducting our second attempt slash 24th attempt at a pirate takeover of this week's episode of Everyone Racers. As most of you may know by now, the original plan was to skip this week's episode due to the wedding of Chris and Chrissy, and we thought skipping an episode for a wedding, come on, that's like canceling a race for a hurricane. We also thought we'd have this out last weekend, but we're still working on it, so we'll see. So who we are and why we're here, we're going to basically cover... Uh, more introductory topics since we're an intro team we're lemons newbies and racing newbies in general as some of you may remember we were on an earlier episode of everyone racers we've got limited experience and virtually no racing skill but we make up for it hopefully with lots of enthusiasm and effort right now our team has eight drivers to this point all of them have minimal prior racing experience three are under 20 three are female and two learned how to drive a manual transmission between our first race and our second race to enter a race at thompson's so The rest of the year, we plan on hitting uh, New Hampshire for the next Lemons race in October. And we're going to end the season with Atlanta, unless I can talk Vicky into letting me go to CMP in November. But we'll talk about that later. Um, And right now, we've got two drivers that are underage. One just got his license a week ago. Well, maybe two weeks ago by the time we get this done. And uh, the the other one's 11. And she just keeps tick, tick, ticking on that clock. So... Let's start off with the news. Um, all right. So the Lemons race in at the uh, Carolina Motorsports in South Carolina has been delayed for a few weeks until November 3rd due to the hurricane. Um, the racetrack is currently being used as a staging area by Duke University to respond to the outages as the storm passes. Um, also... Uh, the New Hampshire race garage reservations are now open for the race in October 20th, uh, the Halloween Hoopty Fest. Uh, we had planned on only having one car there, but we will be entering two. Jeff and Jim from Three Pedal Mafia will be joining us. Um, we actually purchased the uh, Ombre 
off of uh, Jeff and Jim. And what's that? The bad ombre, I know. So um, we'll be actually racing that vehicle, and we're going to bring along our Mustang. So we're going to have the uh, Mustang and ombre battle royale. So uh, having Jeff come and join us on our team, we're going to see how that kind of works out. I'm not sure um, if it's going to be like – a little crazy or not, he'll probably gonna leave shaking his head, but you know, you can get a lot of tips from him. <laughs> it's good yeah. for us. Well, you know. Bad for Jeff. Uh so what else is going on? Um Yeah, so Yeah, the Volkswagen, Volkswagen Beetle after Beetle. seven decades, the uh the Volkswagen is releasing the end of the line model following along. Um hopefully they won't follow along with the Ford and drop all car production so what do you guys think about the uh the seven decades finally coming to an end any comments any thoughts on that oh i don't know the uh volkswagen has always been dear to my heart the uh I remember I, where were we in the late '80s seeing brand new ones just driving around. Down oh, I know they still like, produce wow, them down there. These right? things are still going. What's going on? It, um, yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, you know, I think we went to the grocery <laughs> store. Or something. I was like, there's a brand new one inside. I'm like, what is this? This is crazy. So, um, and I remember, you know, when I was working at a body shop, hearing one of those things rolling on uh, three cylinders. He's like, eh, it's not. It's a little noisy. Uh, it doesn't have as much power. And we yeah, they're pretty the motor much like, like working right on like a, the, uh, engine block, so. like a lawnmower, aren't they? <laughs> Very similar. And then Bill bought me one a long time ago yeah. um, when we first got married. He says, "Here, you know, you're interested in having this. Why don't you go ahead and be, be your project?" I'm like, "I can try." I don't think I ever got around to it though. So. We end up having to get rid of it. Yeah. It rotted. Well, it I, rotted I think it was already kind of rotted there. when we had it. So, <laughs> so yeah. yes, I know. So um, I don't really know what else is going on out there. Uh, again, we're still learning. So, you know, for more news, uh, just tune in for your regularly scheduled programming next week. Yes, yes. So we entered uh, our second race as a team, right? I, it was my first race on your team with two cars. Uh, we've got the Mustang. We got to work on some uh, intercooler and turbo situations. Got to tighten that up a bit. The seating arrangements. We have a little bit of wiring. We got to sort out for the cool suit and some more lights and gadgets and fun things I'm going to put in there. So that should, uh, that should be fun. Um, we've got a new radiator going in and um that's what we have so far for there. Oh, and we got to work on the gas Why? gauge. We really want to get the gas, gas gauge going. <laughs> well, you know, it's it is fun, but it's a built-in excuse. Yeah. So the Thompson race. Did you guys enjoy it? Was that that Alan? Exactly. That was your first race altogether. That was our second. My first race. Yeah, it was a blast. I had a good time. It was the it was a survival day on Friday, just with the heat. Um. And then, uh, you know, Saturday was, was fun with, with just driving around, uh, you know, <laughs> real late race laps. Uh, yeah, and, no, and you anger. brought your son along, and, um, 17 year old. Yeah, it was fun. Bennett, it and was I gotta tell you, he was amazing. He was an amazing radio guy. He took to that naturally. Yes. Um, there he is all in. He's ready. <laughs> He's yeah, he's all That's in awesome. on this stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm still trying to get Liam to kind of uh, oh, yeah. Liam's one of our other racers. He's 17 years old. Um and uh trying to get trying to get um teenagers involved with the racing. It, it, it's not it's not a bad thing, but it definitely uh, their perspective on racing is is a little a little different than I guess regular racing. Um but Yes, a hurt, yeah, a little, little bit of that of too. Cats. But you know, more on that later. So, oh, so Vicky, my what have God, you been working what have on? I been working on this is the part of the episode where the three pedal mafia goes in and talks about what have you been working on this week, guys. So, for me, um, we've been trying to theme the uh, the ombre. The ombre is um, the bad ombre. Sorry, has been a little tricky to theme. Um, we did have an initial theme already lined up for it, and then um, the ombre showed up, and I'm looking at it going, that's really smaller than I thought. You know, no, I mean, nothing personal, Jeff. But um, 
<laughs> Sorry. But um <laughs> so, there goes the E on this yeah, episode. Uh we we kind of had to possibly scrap the original theme that we had. So I just brainstormed with one of our other drivers and she's she's a creative also, so um it's it's easy to bounce off of her and we I think we came up with it with a new concept of it. Um so uh, I'm I'm ex- no, Alan doesn't so even Alan, know about that. So Alan it's all kind of in the hush hush, but we're pretty excited about it now. So um uh we'll probably incorporate part of the original idea in with the new idea. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. Um mostly the brainstorming and once we get that part done, I mean it'll it'll just be banged out. Um we still like to keep with our superhero theme because that's what we're all about. Um and uh we preferably like um Marvel. I'm personally preference to Marvel. So anyway, um, let me see what I'm working on now. School's back in session and uh, that's been a little challenging trying to get everybody in sync again, mostly trying to get everybody out of bed early. So, um, and uh, that's been a little bit tough, but fortunately I've been up very, very early because we have a new puppy. Um and our new puppy is a three-month-old Bernese Mountain Dog. She is a, a little bit of a hot mess right now, but she's adorable, so she makes up for it. Uh, she is named Zoe Lemons Fisher. Lemons, Bill really wanted to name the dog Lemons, and, you know, there's a little bit of a battle over it, so we gave him the middle name. So, Zoe Lemons Fisher. Um well, she's, she is squeezable she's so and she's cute. fluffy she's and she's adorable and I can't keep her out of the mud puddles. Um, so anyway, in our future, we'll be bringing her along um, at this point, not yet. So anyway, that's what we're working on on this end. Um, me being the theme person, I'm all about trying to get these things done and out the door. So how about you, Bill? What have you been working on? Uh, well, I've been working on trying to, since we seem to be getting into this a little more deeply than we maybe had anticipated, we've started putting together a website and an Instagram and Facebook and starting to look at putting the logo together and, uh, just generally trying to get everything off the ground and keep that stuff moving. Um, like you said, we did, uh, pick up El Jefe, uh, last weekend or two weekends ago now, but it was last weekend when we started taping this and, uh, that means we're putting the 944 mm-hmm. out the pasture some way. I don't know which way yet, but we got to. Uh, definitely taking up uh, space. Um, and then we're. Well, <laughs> if it would start, it would take up less space. So, uh, and um, let's see, what else have we done? We did a, a team go kart racing out at Pocono Raceway. We had a, a three person team go out there. Three of our teammates went out there with me, and uh, that went pretty well. We came in uh, yeah, last. Any, but you know, any we're used to that. Um, the track? I also, <laughs> if they're in my way, <laughs> no guys, it's part of he racing. Has done racing that before. So he takes his racing very seriously. The Eleven year old challenged him, and he went all in. It's sad. It's a sad thing. Nice. <laughs> it is a sad thing for the 11 year old. Um, so also went to a, uh, Bertle Roos racing class, a high performance driving class and learned a few things, had, uh, a few things that I thought I had under control fixed and a few things that I didn't have under control fixed. So, uh, the nice thing is I think, um, I learned what I should be doing and when it's not the right way it feels wrong now as opposed to you know just kind of going around going do 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 uh so hopefully this will show up in the next race and we'll see if uh my performance improves although it's hard to tell if your performance improves when you've never been to the race uh race crap um so let's see what else prep in the ombre i think we had a beach party over the weekend uh unfortunately i was the only one who showed up with the sand and uh so the car is all sanded down now so we really have to get rolling on it because uh Hurricane flow is uh, raining on a car with no paint it's now. It's clean. Um, so we're working on that. Yeah, it's clean. Well, that was one way I was going to clean the car, but then I just sanded it a little dirt away. So um, that was fun. And uh, thinking that the mechanicals on the ombre are pretty much done. Nice. I thought I had the clutch figured out, but I, I need to drain some more air out of there. And then uh, the only thing left before a race is I, 
thinking about putting a quick release uh, steering wheel on there so that people like me with the muscular frame that I have generated over the years can more easily get in and out of the car. It is kind of fun to have a car. Yeah, that, I, I didn't really notice that when I took it around the block and you're like, oh, here, t- this is like a little adjustment. I'm like, oh, I never had a car that did that. Never had one of the race cars that did that. So very I was really nice, happy that very nice. that kind of dropped on it. So I was really happy. So is this where uh, um, we need to send out to our number one s- fan? Is that Chrissy's yes. mom? <laughs> let me see. This is the point awesome where we shout out to congratulate everyone's racers. Uh, favorite listener, Chrissy's mom. Um, hi, Chrissy's mom. Hi, Chrissy's yeah, mom. How happy she must be to have a Chris and, about Chris and Chrissy's nuptials. Um, they had a beautiful wedding um, in Massachusetts at a yacht club. I believe. And uh, the pictures were, were gorgeous. They looked so adorable. Um, and Jeff, you know, uh, conducted the wedding, which shocked me. So, um, but anyway, uh, best wishes uh, on behalf of the wedding and to both families. So, um, hello, hello. thank you. Uh, and now let's move on to I'll our main Thompson out. review. Alan. I'm on. Oh, good. That's what oh, happens wait. when I you're in the parking lot of the, uh, the, the bars, bars moving on the, uh, <laughs> All right. The so, um. That's what's weird. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Go. All right. You got me. Um, you got me. Vicky, what did you learn right, from Thompson right. about the camping hotel, oh, campsite see. organization, um, things like that? Organization is key. I mean, I don't don't think, even for all the prep that we had done, I don't think that we even prepped enough. Um, So I think that uh, collapsible equipment is really good. Um, Making sure you have your lists, uh, duties are important. And um, decide, you know, when you have, you know, everybody that's coming, you know, family, teens, um, assign your jobs out for sure. I mean, it, there's a lot of moving parts that I have come to realize that's, that's, um, that's out of, out of my control. So, um, I found that to be, uh, to be really helpful is just listen, you know, and also talk to people who, who are already, um, organized in the groups. We got a lot of tips for just by walking around, um, the campsites and, and looking in other garages, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, and seeing what other people have done, even with their trailers. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, that, that was, that was pretty, uh, an eye opening experience. Um, I think it's even more than camping, um, in the sense that, you know, camping, at least when you're set up, you can kind of chill and relax, but here it's, it's, it's just working. It's, it's working on top of working and uh, making sure you have people in those key areas that need to, to, to function. So, and then how about you, Bill? Well, Alan's going to go cause he was doing the mechanical side. So Alan. <laughs> Thompson. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> just remind me which All one right, we were talking it. about. So the the Mustang Thompson, yes. So we the first round we had a water leak with the Mustang. What happened. Sorry. Um, yeah, we had the water leak coming out for the uh, bypass line right at the uh, water pump. There, we got that fixed Several up. Times. Then we had the air leak. We blew up the line for the intercooler to the throttle body. That was kind of fun. Uh. Several times. Yeah, well, we had some issues at 5 PSI, so we thought it would be a good idea to just dial it up to about 15 and a half and then just see if we could make it. We didn't make it one lap. Where did he Um, go? Is he typing still? Hi, Alan. You know, it's the Royal Wii. Uh, So, yeah, so we we ended up putting some cooler line, a little stronger hosing, and uh, and it held together. Uh, Since then, we've dialed it back a bit. um, I've got it right about at 11, so I think that should be a good, good number we can run through. Um, we're going to put some more cooling capacity in with a new radiator up front. That should help with our longevity if, if, uh, if uh, there's any, going to be any of that to be found. And we're hoping I get some feelers out looking for some parts, trying to get a fuel gauge going. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, and what else? 
That's about doing. what what's going on with that. The Capri. Oh well that was that was quite a bit of fun. So we had uh we got some laps in on that and then we lost the linkage to the transmission, which wouldn't have been too bad except that it we kept lapping in uh, second gear instead of third gear, which it was pretty good lap times, I guess. But then, uh, yeah, not so good for the the, tr- the engine itself. So that, uh, yeah, that ended up with we didn't. Up, we're assuming a broken we camshaft, and I think that we're going to call it soon. terminal for the drivetrain uh, transmission situation there. So we're looking for some yeah, wheel for a new heart. All right, so for those of you out there who are used to traditional racing and care about results, we really well, we don't care at this point. We're just trying to get out there, have some fun, and turn some laps and, you know, learn. But uh, the Capri, like we said, ended the race Saturday uh, just outside the top 100 by the end of the race. I think it was like 102 or so. Um, we did uh, end up figuring out that we had fixed some of our problems with the help of Bruce from Three Pedal Mafia. That was tremendous. Unfortunately, it took us till 2.30 in the morning. Um, and then we found out that the camshaft was broken. So all the work that we had done was basically for naught. Um, the Mustang uh, fell on its face all Saturday, all of Friday and a good chunk of Saturday. So it only put on a few laps uh, Saturday uh, but then came back strong on Sunday and uh, finished right behind the Capri. I think it was like 104. And there were 120 cars entered at uh, Thompson. So uh, we didn't get our goal of being kind of in the middle. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get back to that. Uh, we were pretty close to middle at uh, New Jersey, but we'll see what it does. And uh, I think the biggest thing we can take away from everything was um, – Coming to the racetrack with the Mustang not running perfectly was a bad plan from the beginning. Uh, we had thought that we'd get it close and then do some touch-up on the track. And uh, between Alan and Liam and Cassian and myself um, and anyone else who could lend a hand, we might be able to figure it out, uh, which is true, except we didn't have any parts. And, um, you know, our tractor supply items in the turbo line weren't quite up to standard. And... Uh, That kind of led to a problem, so we ended up replacing our tractor supply tubing for the camper with uh, automotive tubing by Sunday. And then, uh, amazingly enough, if you turn the turbo boost down and don't use plumbing supplies from campers, the car runs a lot better. And, uh, you know, these these are the things you learn when you're a rookie lemons team. So... um, so we ended up coming in just outside the top 100 for both, uh, you know, or otherwise known as the bottom 20. Uh, so that's kind of where we ended up for the race. And uh, I think there was one other item that happened on the weekend that was notable towards the end. Alan, did you want to get into that? Or did we lose him? I think we may have lost Alan. Oh, okay. If you want to go over the uh, yes. go over the end ceremony for everybody. I'm still here. No, I'm here. I'm here. I can hear you. So the I got screwed award. Uh, that was that was quite uh, quite exciting. At least we got some hardware to the come home with. Rolling shed. Um, the rented RV turned it into quite uh, quite an interesting prospect. There were two rented. One worked. One didn't. Um, but at least. It, yeah, the rolling shed. It, it did set up a nice the, perimeter, uh, though. We got a good. I think Vicky idea wants to take a break from him. So that worked um, out pretty well. No, no, that was that was that was really fun. So I think, really uh, race, so I think uh, <laughs> RVs are not in our future for the next so, race, at least. We, we, I think that uh, uh, actually renting an RV to prep to bring an RV and then have an RV. Very nice. It, it was more work than just like owning one and having it already pre-packed of all your stuff. So, um, that, that didn't quite work out for us. And of course the one breaking, <laughs> it ended up being pretty much just like a shed. Yeah, it was where we just stored dope. all the equipment so we couldn't even use the other one. So, but that, that was fine. But yeah, I think we'll, we'll skip that part. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Alan, how did, uh, how did we manage to become the, uh, award-winning racing team that we are. <laughs> oh, we lost Alan. 
All right. I guess the Starbucks uh, <laughs> the I guess internet has gone Well, back. okay. So, so here, here's how it happens. So what happened was we won the I got uh, screwed award. I'm racing in the car um, Saturday morning. Part of the problem is uh, I, I, people you heard know, about I, a rented RV. I got the red out there. Working. I got the red mist on out in the um, oh. on the track. Oh no! I think I just dropped out. Um, I got my laps in. I was happy. Uh, there was an issue with the Mustang. We had to get some parts. So I went back and, uh, yeah, I'm here. Sorry about that. So we had an issue with the Mustang. So I got my laps in the morning in the Capri. We had some parts we needed to get from the Mustang. So I was going to head out. Um, I was, you know, I didn't want to be greedy and get extra lap time in. I figured get, let everybody get their run in. I was, I got my time in. I was psyched and I was out to get the uh, air tube in the, for the turbo. And it turns out that uh, well, someone we, else went we out to had get a food while well, the put race the was still going on in with the all the car we were taking. And, uh, I didn't know that, but I also didn't know that the race went until 6 so or 6.30 and we left to get food at around 4. Driver suited, ready so to race, uh, um, we had a full racing team open, and so. no equipment for them to race in. Um, but, uh, you know, whoops, uh, at, you know, at least the error got us the I got screwed award. So now we're a uh, award winning Race team for lemons with minor internet celebrity. <laughs> I wouldn't celebrity. call the I got screwed uh, award. Very, very, very celebrity guys. <laughs> but hey, I am. I am. You know, there's a glass half full. There's a glass half empty, and then there's me. Hey, <laughs> I got a glass. So we're go- we're going. We're going with it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Liam is proudly displaying it in his room. Yes. Yeah, you got a black flag. We, we, hey, we came with hardware. We came home with hardware. That counts. Uh, uh, see, see. Hey, I got a black flag. I got my my name on the roster somehow. You know, I but I got black flagged. Yeah, we at the end of the straight there. I was coming a little oh hot. God. You know, a little a little too much rear brake going on there, and just just looped it just enough to get one of those back wheels off there. I was able to. Uh, Correct and spin back to the right without fully, you know, rotating oh, 360. And I think kept really going, no harm, no foul. <laughs> but you know, two turns later, I saw that urgent. I tell uh, black you, flag uh, point at there me, was so, so much rain. At we we just came in. They, um, they, I just came in. They gave me a hard time about how it, my seatbelts seat were tightened bad. or and, something and, you else. You know, I just, I, I, yeah, just being on the racetrack and just having everybody spin out in front of me was surreal. It was surreal when somebody's in front of you and all of a sudden they just lose the back end and off they go into the grass. I'm like, I just, that was crazy. And, you know, I just felt like, like, uh, that was that the grand tour. What is it? The grand tour. And they just say, think, Oh, I'm just going to leave think the best part was the drive away. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And not only that, he did it mostly in third gear. Second or third. Didn't we lose? What, what, gear, what gear was he stuck <laughs> in? Let it go. The car uh, died. I, I think I need to stuck in second gear. That was the fastest second no, gear. I think ever. I need to give a shout out and a high five <laughs> I to think Cassian. The best part was Chrissy saying how good uh, Cassian was out the there driving. Yeah, figure if we're going to go in, we're going to go all in. It's just like he took it out. I got a kick. It was. It was awesome. So, uh, this podcast is being brought to you by Everyone Racer sponsors, The Extreme Experience. And if you go there, you get to drive really cool cars, uh, Porsches, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, who knows what they have, all kinds of cool stuff. They even have cool teachers like Mental, Chris, Jeff, and many, many others. And using the Everyone Racers discount, you get a uh, 25 or 30% off or or something (laughs) like that. We never looked it up. That was perfect timing. Anyway, if you listen next week, or last week, you'll get more accurate details and a much better description of what these, what the discount is in the entire racing thing. And uh, that's why they're professional podcasters and we are rank <laughs> amateurs. How can you say that louder every time Kate's in the background so she can hear you? Exactly. 
but we do know something. The uh, the high performance uh, driver education that's right. definitely something that's a so good we'll idea for uh, everyone anyone. Uh, to yeah. Vicky's point, she said she watched somebody spin out in front of her uh, <laughs> while driving in the rain, just right. to just have the, the you know sense of all right. What, what am I going to do here? How am I going to get oh, out of this alive? Um, this is a you know it's a good thing to try, right? I mean, it's uh, you know getting to thrash around somebody else's expensive car on a track. That certainly sounds like a good idea to me. That's the tip. All right. Just like Alan said about the whole spin out. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. There is uh, walking the track. Uh, I think now is the time. Is, I think there's time right now. I think we need first to. First of all, making sure you have everybody out there on Friday give them night just to, the tip. to drive tip. Friday practice. When you're out there on Friday practice, I mean, it's so important because, you know, um, for instance, Friday nights are so very busy and you're either setting up camp, you're rolling out the car, you're trying to organize the the garage area. Um, And depending on what time you come in to start all that, there is a likelihood that you will not be able to drive that track. Um, Your safety tip of the week has to be drive that track because knowing where those turns are, knowing the conditions are, where, where, um, every issue that you might have to understand what that track is going to be um, makes it a whole lot easier than going out the second day. Uh, I was not able to get out um, twice on the initial drives and I regretted it. Um, And after that, you know, have a chance to walk the track and walk the track with knowledgeable people, um, especially for you newbies that are out there. Um, So, you know, right. So you know where every bump is on the track. You know where the oil marks are. You know where the curves are. If there's anything that is on the track that, say, for instance, like um, like tread and sticky areas, um, some one particular track that we had gone on to, they actually had a different race before us, so they sprayed the track to make it. It's um, It's much easier to learn when you have fifteen or twenty cars out there driving in practice than it is to be out there with hundred plus cars driving in race. So um, knowing that when you're walking a track. uh, um, is so very helpful um, to get out there and uh, and understand what you're driving on. So that's my safety tip for the week. <laughs> okay, great. So. Um... Usually the episode, if they don't have a guest, uh, the mm-hmm. Edwin Racer team tries going to end on with a hella car, sweet or but terrible idea. So we've got in, one. And, uh, um, and we're trying to figure out what we should do with the debris. Up, uh, up in the got a couple options. We can off, fix it. But, you know, we can do a it, it, transmission. It really starts and, and the sound, the smell, the, you know, can you reach all the levers and switches? Can you reach fifth gear if you need it from where you have the seat position? Can you see all the mirrors? Is your helmet We've all got different thoughts and ideas. And I thought maybe it would be a good idea to argue it out in front of everybody. So, you know. We do dumb ideas all the time. So I, I guess the, the big items would be um, cost and availability. Uh, how difficult is it for us to do the work? Uh, is it going to affect the weight balance handling? Is there going to be a horsepower thing? And, and then anything else that we can think of. So, uh, Vicky, do you want to start us off with what you think we should do with the Capri? Some, sometimes, sometimes they put us in B last time, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> well, the Capri's been around um, for a while in Lemons. Um, uh, it, I know it's our very first vehicle that that we drove and we designed. Um, it's a fun car to drive. Um, it's an easy car to drive and is great for beginners. Um, it's a Class C car. Um, so, oh my gosh, that that was pretty funny. Um, but you know, the issue is, is that, you know, it will always have a transmission issue. It doesn't matter that the car being a 74 is older. Um, so it's, it's downfall is parts. Parts are very difficult. Alan, what do you think? Um, and even with those parts that we can, you know, pretty much, you know, scrounge, um, I, they're still going to have the same issues, the same problems. It's just not designed for what we're 
we're just we're using it for. So um, I well, you know, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I would say um, to fix it, but fix it with something else um, completely. That That's what I would do. Yes. Stig's, Stig's favorite low car to drive fast, yes. Well, I was just making sure. So we're thinking new engine. Try That's, to stay with. Kind that of sounds like I think a, just a lot of nostalgia with that I think car. Stay with the stick. The people that are on the for. track. Uh, um, we've just got a couple uh, people come up right. and just um, say, um, so the, the, the ones that we could use was the five speed or Camaro. Good like idea. That was the ask if they could drive three point eight liter. And of course, it's Stig's favorite car. Whatever we got. You know, the two thousand three ish generation. Of course. I think it just fits um, right in the whole theme of yes, car, but just right. stuff a Chevy yeah, right now. Um, I like the idea of, do of fixing it and then putting it back out. Um, <laughs> what about you, Bill? Okay. Is this something we can do, though, Alan? Are we trying to bite off more than we can chew or hope to chew? Did I lose him? I oh, just want to ask him a question. He's gone. Anyway, so we've got the 3.8. Oh, yeah. We've got we could put the uh, four-cylinder Mustang in that we have in the Mustang, so we could keep them both the same. Uh, somebody said a 353 Cleveland? Something yeah, like I that? Yeah, I totally agree. I think, um, I think keeping it going that was right one thing. that was uh, suggested. Or the 5.0 Mustang. Um, I think we're looking like the uh, 3.0 Camaro due to weight uh, yeah. <laughs> availability <laughs> Definitely costs standard. and uh, being able to put it in there. So we just lost Alan again. This, this Starbucks thing is not working out for him so well. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, there's lots of people who drive them in the walls and uh, – you know, if you remember the uh, who was it? That, was it Speedy Cop that made the upside down Camaro, and then it was chosen. It was chosen to be a Camaro because that's how. That's most right. Camaros we can sell off the sheet metal. Upside, I've been looking upside down. So um, there seems to be a lot of those around, and um, so it looks like we're going to go with this, and that's going to be our plan. Uh, if you guys think of anything, if the uh, everyone racers guys have some more opinions that are they willing to share, or if any of their listeners want to let them know what we they think we should do. Uh, that'll be our next uh, project. We're going to start on that as soon as we can, and we're targeting the New Jersey race next year. Are they easy so we've to got come a few by? months, and unfortunately, they're cold. But uh, you know, that's what driveways are for, and you know, we'll figure <laughs> out the rest of it. So, with that, is there anything else you had, Vicky? All right. Oh well, yeah. Alan's not on, so we know he's good. So. <laughs> Oh. No, so I guess he's getting the, uh, a frappa latte, icy mocha mint. I don't know. I don't drink coffee. Uh, mocha choca. <laughs> yep. So uh, we'd like to thank everyone, racers, and thank everyone for listening. If you've listened this far, you should get combat pay. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed our pirate radio episode. And uh, if everyone, racers, put this out there, we, we seriously question their judgment. Um, and if uh, you're interested in more details of any of our insanity or learning, you can follow us along at Instagram or on our website. We go as Garage Heroes in Training no, for everything. And uh, you, tune in next week for a much better podcast because yeah, we will. And <laughs> uh, as they here. would say, keep the shiny <laughs> side up. And so if you could come with us and enjoy the ride. Thanks, everybody. You know, 24 times Look I think we got a chance something. at this working. <laughs> 25 is a round number. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I think we need one more take. <laughs> Well, clearly that was a mistake. Yeah. I do know that their new podcast is much, much, much better. Um, I'm sorry. Let's never do that again. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week talking about New Jersey.